Hey, what's going on guys? Dr. P here back with another video. Now, of course, today was the reveal at 4 a.m. of the Zero Crisis event with Agent Jones finally confronting the Seven and trying to stop the Zero Point from destabilizing once and for all to save reality. All in all, it was a pretty entertaining event. It was the first of its kind where it's a solo experience and you can play it guaranteed if you haven't booted up the game yet. You will have a chance to play it as soon as you enter into your first session of the new season. So there's pretty much no way you can miss it if you want to play it. However, the event was very fast paced and you might have missed a lot. Here are six things you might have missed during the Zero Crisis event. Number one, a new member of the Seven is revealed. The Foundation, in fact, he is the leader of the Seven, so that's a pretty substantial member to actually get a face to the name for. It had been over a year since we had last seen a member of the Seven, of course, Previously, we knew that Paradigm, the Visitor, and the Scientist were a part of the Seven, but now the Foundation comes through. The Foundation at first looked a lot like the Visitor, but he is indeed a different person. It'll be interesting to see how that develops going forward. Number two, the Foundation arrives in the same sort of meteor as the Visitor did in Chapter 1 two separate times in Season 4 and Season X. This is yet another reason why I thought he was the Visitor, but clearly these guys are all very similar in their capacities and what they do. Number three, the chopper. Midway through the event, you'll notice that you're getting shot at by a chopper out of nowhere and you're getting heavy fire, like they're constantly going at you. They're intentionally trying to stop what you're doing. Now, who was inside of the chopper? My best guess is IO guards. Members of the Imagination Order, which Jonesy was previously a member of, who are trying to stop him from rebelling against the cause that he had grown up fighting for for so long. Number four. Everyone is trying to kill Jonesy as he runs to the zero point. If you'll notice in the event, this is very true. As he's running through the middle of the map, all sorts of people, including Mancake and Tiantina, try and take him out. Why? Well, the reason is simple. He is trying to secure the zero point, thus making it impossible to escape the loop at the moment. He's basically trying to keep them imprisoned, which I can't blame them for being mad and wanting to try to kill him for. Number five, at the conclusion of the event, spoilers ahead, the Foundation traps himself inside the zero point so he and Jonesy both make a sacrifice to stay inside the loop to secure it for the time being. The Foundation tells Jones not to give up, never to stop fighting, and always remember their sacrifice and the cause, and that eventually one day the Foundation will find Jones again and Jones can tell him everything. You see, Jonesy actually needed the Foundation's help to secure the Zero Point. He thought it would be easier for him to do than it was, and the only way they were able to do it was by both of them remaining in the loop for an unspecified amount of time. It seems like it would be a long time because we got Agent Jones as a skin this season when we had never previously gotten him. Maybe a symbol of him finally being pretty much completely inside the loop now instead of operating from the outside or bouncing back and forth between different realities or that kind of thing. And finally, number six, Peely dies and gets destroyed yet again. This seems to be an ongoing joke and gag with Epic right now. You'll remember Peely has suffered multiple times before, the most notable being when Jonesy literally had to drink him because they were trapped in a bunker for so long. Peely just continues to take the brunt of all the hits, and social media from what I've seen so far seems to be having a field day with the Peely memes. Hashtag rip Peely in the comments section to pay tribute to our lost banana boy. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of the Zero Crisis event on a scale of 1 to 10. I definitely thought it was very cool. I don't know if it was my favorite event ever, in fact almost certainly not, because it wasn't quite the same as an actual live event, it was the first of its kind uh, being a solo experience. I thought it was better than I was expecting. I mean, I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. It was very cool. It was very interesting. We got a new member of the 7 overall. 
very good event, but not my absolute favorite. And I'm just curious to hear what you guys have to say about it as well. Super pumped for the new season. Make sure you follow my Twitch stream. I'm going to be starting to go live over there as well as YouTube much more that I'm no longer streaming on caffeine. Make sure to use code PINEAPPLESYT in the Fortnite item shop if you're purchasing the battle pass or anything else in general this season. I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video and until then, peace.